What is up guys, Rekas here with a new video and today we are going to review a new hero well to be precise we are going to review a preview of a new hero which is a huge difference as you guys know the first news about the hero that we always get uh, doesn't include the numbers um, like the attack damage and everything um, what I talk about if you've never seen a hero preview from the age Usually a skill in the game is structured like deals 600% of attack damage against two enemies, etc. And in the hero preview, DH basically deletes the 600% and the two from the two enemies. So um, they can change it later or short before release. And we don't have the precise numbers um, quite at this point. Maybe they will release it later in the week, otherwise we will only see it when they release the hero in-game. But still it's interesting to look at those heroes before they release, as we can get a general grasp of the um, mechanics that those heroes use. And can get an idea whether or not this hero might be good or not. We can of course not say it with certainty, as it makes quite a huge difference if a hero deals 100% of attack damage or 2000% of attack damage or if it's active skill targets one enemy or all enemies. Um, so that's something we can't say yet. Still we will look at his skills and basically the hero in question that is going to be released is Azrael. Azrael is our new shadow assassin that is going to be released on Friday and of course with all new heroes this hero is of course our next transcendence hero that is going to be released one month after this upcoming event on Friday. So um, let's have a look at these skills now maybe we can get an idea of Asrael's skill set. Asrael, killer of slumber. Okay, um, one thing that you can already see, active skill, four lines, um, pretty short, uh, which is good in a, in a way, because last time when I made a review about Star Swordsman Mockman, I had to write down all the skills, structure them a bit differently, so we could understand them, because they were so long, and so difficult to understand um, that a lot of you guys had problems with it and wrote that in the comments and um, I can fully understand, I'm fully on your side with it, such complicated skills. I think we are still discovering new things about Star Swordsman Mockman um, and it's it's a very, was a very weird hero uh, in a way. This one mm, still a bit weird but the uh, effects are shorter so at least it's not that much to read, I guess. So, first sentence deals damage to self and he's already weird. Because that's like an effect that we didn't see yet, uh, yet in the game. Deals damage to self. I think the only comparable effect would be Ignit's basic attack, um, which consumes a certain percent of her, her HP. But that's not the same. Deals damage to self. That sounds like an attack. So, does this skill work like an attack? That's the question we have to ask ourselves. Does it crit? Does it use um, effects awakening stats like Defire maybe? Um, Defire could work if he's full life. Giant Killer of course wouldn't as um, he has the same attack than himself, so obviously not going to work. 0% buff from that, but Defire maybe. Um, crit, crit damage, holy damage, do those things work um, for this damage or don't they? That's of course something we have to ask ourselves, but why does he deal damage on, to himself? Well, the answer is, meanwhile inflicts soul castigation on enemy with the lowest HP. What is soul castigation? Well, that's the answer to the question why he deals damage to himself and it's located at the bottom of this picture. Soul Castigation deals the same amount of damage dealt by Asrael's active skill to self to the target. So this skill effect that we uh, apply to the enemy with the lowest HP deals the same damage to that enemy as we dealt to ourselves or as Asrael dealt to himself. So um, this skill effect of course can't crit, which doesn't mean that um, Asrael can't crit himself with the um, with the damage he deals during his active skill and of course this damage would then be applied to the enemy. This skill effect itself can't crit though and his damage is fixed, cannot be reduced or increased by attributes or skill effects. Um, is of course the question, is it like also the enemy's attributes? Attributes like damage reduction? Um, 
does that not work against this damage? Is this like true damage that is dealt to the enemy? Or is it just something that can be reduced by any effect that is uh, on the enemy and just cannot be heightened or reduced by effects that are on us? That's something we are going to have to test and that we can't answer right now. It would be kind of cool if um, things like Crown or something like that or DR on the enemy uh, wouldn't work against this. I think it's rather likely, as this is a skill effect, that it can't be dodged. Um, like Drake or Carry, uh, even SFX might not be able to dodge this damage, which would be kind of cool. Uh, the other skill effect that we can already read, um, Asteroid's passive skill Evil Crops is enhanced by Sin of Death, is the Sin of Death. Um, skill effect, pretty easy one, so I thought while well, we are down here, let's read it. Um, let's go back up. Uh, afterwards, deals damage to enemies with the lowest HP and grants self sin of death, the skill effect we just read. Um, so, as usual for an assassin, he attacks the enemies with the lowest HP. Um, usually, assassins finish off the enemies that have low HP, which makes them very efficient at dealing damage um, because taking an enemy really out of the fight is worth a, a whole lot. Um, as in any other way, healers on the enemy team might be capable of healing this low HP enemy back up to full HP and make the danger again and thereby uh, negate the damage you dealt too. So it's kind of important to has, have assassins in a team or even think about including them um, as they can be quite an asset uh, to the team that you build. So that's good. Seems like a decent effect. Uh, it's of course the question, is it good that he deals damage to himself? Is that something that we want? Um, and I think we have to read the rest of the skills to come to a verdict on that. So let's do that. Immortal Throne increases HP, attack, crit, control, immunity and speed. Quite a lot of stats that are increased by this passive skill. Um, and we have HP, we have attack, we have crits, so a bunch of uh, at least attack and crit, quite offensive stats. Um, then we have control immunity, which is nice to have as well, um, makes it a little less likely to be controlled by like a starving jar or something. And we have speed for a little bit of extra chance to uh, make his attack before the enemies do. And we have nothing that reduces the damage that is dealt to him. And this might be because of the active skill deals damage to self, indicating that maybe things like block or DR would indeed reduce the damage that he can deal to himself. So they didn't put those stats into this passive skill, which is quite nice if it works in that way. Um, you can still decide to put a crown on him if you don't want him to deal a lot of damage to himself, but you have the option to run in full squishy mode um, with like an, maybe an, not an AMB, an endless cane or a Punisher staff or maybe even um, a melodic strings. So that's an option and um, is not disabled through those passive skills. So quite a nice passive skill, good choice of skills in my opinion. Definitely something that is all right. The basic attack on the other hand was very boring in my opinion, deals damage to enemy enemies with the lowest HP and reduces their block for a certain amount of rounds. Um, I mean, it's all right, it's nothing special really. Um, one thing that was a bit confusing to me is this enemy enemies. I think they had the um, the 10 star and the V4 stats in here and I guess with um, Stellar on him it becomes enemies and he deals this damage to multiple enemies while without uh, Stellar as a 10 star version or E5. Um, he deals the damage only to one enemy which is of course not that great um, and something a pretty weak basic skill. Um, so not very nice basic skill, could be way better. I guess it's not really what you want from him. And then we have this passive skill and then that's again a very long one. So let's read. When self dies, deals damage to enemy with the lowest HP. If self has sin of death, additionally deals a certain percent of the same amount of damage to them. Um, I guess to them means to the enemy with the lowest HP, or um, maybe if it's buffed later, he deals damage to multiple enemies with the lowest HP, lowest and second lowest, um, and that's what this and them is indicating. Um, that's kind of interesting. Question is, of course, what does certain percent mean? Certain percent can mean like 30, 40% of that damage 
can mean 140 or 400% or a thousand percent um, can of course be very different in any way we deal some form of damage when we die. That's the takeaway and that is of course a very decent skill and a skill that can likely be very annoying if he's introduced as PvE enemy and I think um, with all the kit that I've seen and the rest of the kit that we are going to see he will be a nightmare when he's introduced as a PvE enemy. Uh, after what self transforms into the holy corpse which will arrive as well in certain amount of rounds so he has a similar form to the form carry has carry has like this shadow ghost form and uh, he is, has the holy corpse which is kind of similar when he dies he leaves something on the field um, and still applies some effects to the enemies that are fighting him um, and at the end of each round uh, during the existence of Holy Corpse and at the end of each round deals damage to enemies with the lowest HP and reduces their effect of being healed for a certain amount of rounds. Uh, reducing the effect of being healed is pretty cool, especially if it's uh, quite a lot of reduction, like uh, 40, 50, 60 percent. Those would be very cool values, those would be very strong values. If it's of course like 10 percent, that's not that interesting. Heroes like a ferric investor with a little bit of CI on them heal way more than the hero has life. So, I mean, it's a good effect. And uh, if we if he's introduced as a PVE enemy, this will again be an absolute nightmare when you can't heal your heroes back up again and they slowly die to something like I I imagined a team like Triple Ada, Triple uh, Asrael, or like Two Ada, Two um, Asrael, Two Carries maybe. Um, that would slowly chip your enemies down with mark damage and uh, and reduce healing effect, which would be absolutely annoying. Um, and of course, we don't know how much damage he actually deals. Um, might actually be that his holy corpse form is stronger than his living form, and you actually want him to go into this holy corpse form, which is something we will need to see when we finally get the full numbers but it's a little bit indicated by the way the hero is structured like we saw the passive skills we saw the active skill and both of those skills seem to work towards suiciding him um, he kills himself and then gets into the holy corpse form while first of all dealing damage to the enemies um, at the end of each round we deal damage reduce effect of being healed and meanwhile Every one enemy killed reduces the cool, uh, countdown of Asrael's revival by one round. So similar to carry, um, we have a mechanic that can quicken our revival at this point. And if Holy Cops kills any enemy, Asrael will revive by a certain percent of HP and energy at the beginning of next round. Um, which is a little bit like Onkirimaru in a sense, as as soon as with Onkir Maurus, of course, the hero skill effect lies on, um, you get one kill, he's back. And this is quite interesting and a pretty cool effect. And of course, we will have to see how strong it really is. How strong is his holy corpse? How strong is, um, is his suicide? I could imagine that if you don't run him as a homeowner, the damage will be so negligible and the effects he has will be so negligible that you kill him or he kills himself and uh, you don't mind the slow damage this holy corpse does and the little bit of reduced effect of being healed um, might not even play a role in a regular pvp fight for example um, and the same might apply to pve so i kind of think he doesn't really have any mechanic that could make him a really good hero. Like the revival of course would be nice and I think he will be a good choice for Shadow SL. But then again, Shadow SL consists mainly of heroes that, yeah, you have a lot of bad heroes in Shadow and I mean, any decent hero is nice for Shadow SL, but in a regular PVP fight, I don't know. I don't know, I, I can't imagine that he will have a place there. And um, I might make him too bad at this point, and I might talk him too bad at this point. Um, but in general, heroes that deal damage that aren't transcendence heroes haven't really had a good time in the 
last um, months in the last releases. We saw Mockman that wanted to deal a lot of damage and in the end he was less than impressive. And I could imagine that we will have the same for Ezrael. Um, we will of course still have to test him in game, have to test how um, strong his Holy Corps really is because that's really saving grace. Um, how his self damage works, that is something I care a lot for. Um, what I think though, and this is the upside of all of this, I talk this hero down a lot, but I think his kit will make for a very interesting Transcendence hero. Usually Transcendence heroes kind of elevate the mechanics of the base hero, and if that is the case we could see like a Transcendence carry. Um, similar to carry, but as a shadow hero, and that would be really cool, and I could imagine that the Transcendence version of Ezreal will still play in a lot of teams, and will be one of the most interesting heroes um, that we got in recent times. So, that being said, what's your opinion on uh, Ezreal? Do you like his kit? Do you think I'm right? I mean, I'm theorizing at this point that he uh, is going to be bad, but what's your opinion on that? Uh, are you going to scroll for him on Friday, or is this something that you are going to skip? Let me know in the comments, guys. And with that, I'm going to end the video. Wish you guys a great week, and we'll see us in the next one.